today we are going to talk about uh, multi network interface so basically it is like you want multiple network interface into your vm so for each inter interface will be of different vpc so i will share my slides and i will share more information about it so let's go to my slide so basically <coughs> it is used when you want to use multiple network interfaces in a single individual instance and that need access to more than one vpc network so suppose you have a, a vm and it need to access about two to three vpc or four vpc so you will create each network you will create with a multiple interface in your different different vpc networks so when you create your vm there, there you have to choose your vpc networks then all the vpc network must be in the same project only uh, until and unless you are using a shared vpc I will create a video on shared VPC in, in upcoming time. So basically the use cases of multiple network interfaces is when you want to use for network and security function like you want to create a, a net or you want to create a load balancer or proxy something like that then you create a net uh, this multi network interface VM or perimeter isolation suppose you want that if one interface is only communicate with your public traffic and other interface will co communicate with your internal traffic so like in traffic is coming from the internet it so it, it can't reach directly to your private uh, like database or private storage anything you are uh, uh, using be, uh, as a backend so you will create two interface which is a one is public interface and another one is private so traffic will first hit the public interface after that you will do the routing and the traffic will on the VM and a traffic will be passed to your pri private interface from where it will reach your backends and also you have to take care when you <laughs> create a multi network interface so if you perform an internal DNS query with the instance host name so it will always resolve to your primary interface which is NIC0 so like suppose you have uh, three interface so first one is known as NIC0 another one NIC1 and NIC2 so if you try to do internal dns query from the nic one so it will always fail so you have to remember that you can only do the internal dns query from your primary interface only so it means it will always resolve to primary interface not it will <coughs> never resolve to your secondary or third interface so let's see some there are some limitations so we can only configure a network interface when we create an instance so we can't do like you have an existing instance and you want to add more interfaces on that so that is not possible and each vm can have a minimum one so we already know that we can create when we create a vm it has already has a one interface but now if we want to use multiple network interface we have the option to increase it up to eight network interface but it also depends on the machine type so machine type you can see also means like if you have two or less number of cpu you can add only two network interface if you have four you can add up to four so it depends upon the cpu if you want to add eight network interface in your vm you must have eight cpu or more if you want to six you will want need to add the cpu according to it up like if you want six so up to six cpu must be there if you want to add four next up to four cpu must be there and we cannot add or remove a network interface from existing vm so if you, suppose you want to remove a, a existing interface from your running VM that is not possible to do that and IP forwarding which is always enabled at the VM level we cannot apply it to individual interfaces like to enable it at NIC 0 or NIC 1 that is not possible it is always enabled at the VM level also there is a term known as policy routing so it is you basically used when we want our secondary network interface to communicate an IP address which is outside of its primary subnet range like I have a uh, IP range like for my another interface like NIC 1 192.168 1.0 slash 24 and if I want to communicate outside that subnet range like I want to communicate with over the internet with my secondary range secondary NIC so I need a, a proper routing to be configured so I will, I will show you how to do that so let's do the demo and see how can we do all the things so I have created basically three VPC networks are there so I will use this all the three VPC network to my create to create my multi NIC VM. So 
so uh, let's click on create instance and we will create with three multi-nick vm let it be one name multi-nick and uh, i have i will will take mumbai location as most of my subnet size mumbai location so let's let's go with uh, as of now two machine type machine type with two cpu and four gb memory so let's see how how much we can add with the using this machine type configuration so if we go to networking so you can see one interface is already there so let's click on other interface it is a multi so i have chosen a second network this is my uh, subnet and we have option whether we want to use external ip or not on my second interface third interface fourth interface if you want you can use external ip if you don't want you can just do none so i am going to take secondary ip also and i will create one more interface it is my from test network network let's go and i don't want my external ip and i will do done done sorry so i have added three interface but according to our slides which i have shown you at i also have google we have only two cpu so we can only add two interfaces but let's see whether it will create a vm or not let's click on create so we can see that it has already denied to create our vm and it is giving one error that too many network interfaces the maximum number of network interfaces allowed for this machine type is two so that confirms that it is totally depends upon the cpu we cannot create uh, three network interfaces until we increase our cpu count so let delete it delete it and we'll try again so let it give the same name only multi nick and my reason is my location so let's increase the cpu now i will go with custom only because i you can go with any machine type if you require i want four cpu and four memory let's go to advanced option networking and it is i just add my another interface and one more interface here it is and in this interface i don't need a external ip only two interfaces have external IP and one interface doesn't have and click on create. So you can see my VM has been created. I, we can see that we have three internal IP and two external IP as of now. So let's go inside the VM and see the configuration once again. So as we can see, we have three interface in it, NIC0, NIC1, NIC2. And you can see two has uh, external IP and one doesn't have external IP. So this is our multi NIC VM. Let's SSH to it and do some testing. So let's click on SSH. So I have logged into my VM. So what will I try to do? I will try to ping. Let's ping 8.8.8. .8 with this Google Drive server IP. So I'm able to ping, but it is as of now it is pinging from my nick0 interface which is my primary interface as you remember nick01 from this interface it is reaching the internet traffic so i will <coughs> do some changes i will try to do with this uh, source interface i will use a source interface before that i will run the customer ip if config to So as I can see, I have ENS4 and it is my NIC0, ENS5 is my NIC1 and ENS6 is my NIC2. So I will try to ping via ENS4, which is my NIC0. So I will run just simply run the command ENS4, sorry. You can see I'm able to ping via NIC0. So if I try to ping with via NIC1, I'm not able to ping. So uh, this is basically if you want to go ping anything outside of your subnet range, which is my 5.7. This is my IP of the v 
this specific interface if i want to ping anything out of this subnet range then i have to do the policy routing so let's add a route so i will just run the command sudo route add network so let's ping another network which is 8.8.4.4 .4. it is also a just our ip of google and in gateway i will 5.1 which is the gateway of this specific subnet and i will give my interface name it is ens5 so here instead of network it is net mask so i have added a route so if i run ip route it will show me that route also sorry so you can see that for to go to this is 8.8.4.4 .4 .4. i have i have a route to go by 192.8.5.1 so let's try to ping that ip now you can see now with the help of my nick one is with a specific ip which is using the external ip i am able to reach this specific web server ip so if i try to ping it with my nick zero i am not able to ping because we i have a specific route which is saying to go this specific ip i have to take this specific interface gateway which is my subnet nick one so this confirms that we can do that specific policy routing to uh, pass that traffic to dif from different interfaces and one more thing i will <coughs> want to show you is uh, let's i will create one more vm and will, i will show you so what will i do I, from the i will create one more vm and from this specific vm i will try to ping both of my external ips after that once i will to ping i will create a specific firewall rules and try to block the traffic i will show you what will the behavior in this multi nick so if you create a firewall tool what it will it be applicable to for the full vm or will it be applicable to specific interfaces so let's create this vm so my second vm has been created so i will try to ssh into it and i will show you so from this specific vm i will try to pin this both the public ip so first i will try to ping nick 0 ip so let's go and ping nick 0 you can see i am able to ping the nick 0 ip let's try with nick 1 so what do you think i will able to ping nick 1 or not you can comment if you are watching this till now so let's go to ping 1 so it is not copied so you can see i am not able to ping this specific ip it is because uh, it doesn't know how to respond to return traffic so for that i have to configure the policy routing so if you want to enable both the interfaces so we can go to google documents only and they have, they have written as given as a command so we have to just configure this specific command so i will just use this command so i have to type all the things so they are asking sudo which on the which nick i want to configure so it is my ens5 and what is the IP address of NIC? I can see from here IP address is 5.7. And net mask of my specific IP is 255.255. Gateway is 192.168.5.1. And uh, it is asking for 5.7 prefix length. It is slash 24 so my prefix length is slash 32 because this is this single ip so it takes code so let's add this specific information to my VM. So it has been added. Now we will try to ping it. So you can see as soon as I have added the policy routing here, it is able to ping my specific IP also, second IP also. So you have to take care while 
if you want to pass any traffic to specific to network interface other than primary interface so you have to do the routing otherwise you're not able to reach your interface outside of your subnet range that's the point you have to remember so let's go back here so I, what will i try to do i will try to create a firewall rule which specifies that from the specific instance one if i try to read multi nick to this specific ip it must drop the traffic so let's go i will create a firewall rule i will <coughs> give block ping and it will apply to network my default network it is a ingress traffic i want to deny and it will apply to all the instance in the network oh yeah and source ip range will be my this is specific vm1 instance one ip and i have to provide slash 32 because it is specific single ip and uh, i want to deny only icmp so what will happen can you tell me whether it i am it will always stop pinging this second IP also or, or it will only stop pinging this IP because I have written in default network. Can you comment? So let's see what will happen. Let's go back. I think my VM has that firewall rule has been created. So let's try to ping my first IP slash 90, .97. You can see it has been stopped pinging .97 now i'm not able to ping so let's ping that 186.185 ip you can see it is still pinging so this confirms that the firewall rules are not applied to that uh, vm but it has been applied to specific vpc level or we can say interface level so i have created a rule in default network that's why i'm not able to ping the interface which is in default network if i tried make the rule in the same same rule in the multi vpc network <coughs> another network also in which my nick one is there so I'm not able to ping this IP also. You have to be make sure if you have the multiple links and you have tried to block some traffic. So if you think that you have created a, a firewall on a specific network and it will uh, block traffic for all the interfaces, that is not possible. You have to create uh, <coughs> that firewall rule for all the interfaces. Also, sorry, offer all the interfaces, or you can say all for all the VPC in which your interfaces resides. You can comment. If you have any question, I will try to help you. Or uh, if you see, I can improve in thing. So let me know. Thank you.